Ok, good evening. Vamos a esperar a que los demás se conecten a la clase. Eh, gracias por estar temprano, Rosaura. Vamos a esperar a que los demás se conecten. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? <laughs> Very hard. Very hard. Why? Yes. Did you work a lot? A lot, of, a lot of work and I didn't have um, time for a study. <laughs> you didn't have time to study. I didn't have time. Yes. And did you do your homework? Yeah, no. Yesterday mm -hmm. I I was problem with my computer. Mm -hmm. And uh, I I um, I want the the do in the in the afternoon, but I didn't have time. Okay, you want you you didn't have time to do it in the afternoon, but mm -hmm. it's it's easy, right? We are going to have a little review today, and <laughs> and today. I have, uh -huh. how do you say I don't remember? Me duele el estómago. <laughs> I have I have a stomach ache. Okay, I have a stomach. Right now so you have a stomach. Stomach, cake? A stomach, yes, a stomach yes. ache. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Yeah. About, mm -hmm. uh -huh. but for for um, the quiz or the oral quiz. Yeah, but don't worry. It's going to be easy, right? It's okay. going to be easy. No problem. I... Don't worry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good evening, Lisa. Good evening, Mercy. We are going to start in a couple of minutes, so we are going to wait just for the students to connect. Today is. Thursday, we are going to finish uh, week number two, okay? De aquí para adelante van a sentir las clases más rápidas, el tiempo que va más rápido, porque ya vamos a ir terminando, ¿verdad? Ya solo nos van a quedar dos semanas, y esas semanas ya van a ver que las van a sentir súper rápido. Entonces, good evening, good evening, Edgardo, good evening, Tatiana. Uh, thank you for being here. Good evening. Okay, we are about, uh, we are about to, to begin. Ya vamos a comenzar, solo vamos a esperar que se conecte más. Good evening. Um, and first of all, we are going to continue with the wish, right? The wishes. Uh, that was the homework about. Vamos a hacer un review. Después vamos a hacer un ejercicio para que ustedes hablen. Y después vamos a, a tener un pequeño quiz, ¿verdad? Un pequeña, vamos a ver si tenemos tiempo para completar todos los ejercicios. Okay, good, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. everyone. Okay, uh, we are about to begin right now. So let me, I think that I already shared these presentations in the WhatsApp group. So you can check it whenever you want to, if, if it is useful for you. And just let me find what we were studying. Okay, I'm going to share screen right now see here okay now yesterday we were talking about wishes right we were talking about uh, this kind of wishes we studied two conversations also one is a person who didn't want to live with the parents and another person that wanted to have a different job right and we were talking about um, the structure to use wish. Remember, that is subject plus wish plus subject plus the verb in the past, right? En el pasado va el verbo. Entonces, remember that because sometimes it's kind of confusing when we try to express our ideas. Uh, we had examples also. I wish I had time to work. Uh, she wishes she had her family with her. They wish it were Friday, etc. right? And also, I uh, remember that the verb to be is in the past, right? Where? For he, for she, for I, for they, for all of the pronouns, we use where. I wish I were, brother. I wish life were easy. I wish life weren't so difficult. You wish you were at home right now. Wendy wishes she were traveling around the world. So I uh, remember to, that is like an exception, right? For, for that, um, like structure, eso es como una, eh, recuerden que el, el pasado del verbo to be siempre va a ser where cuando usemos I wish or she wishes, right, or he wishes. Y también los modales, ¿verdad? Cuando vayan en pasado, va a ser, por ejemplo, el pasado de can is could, ¿verdad? Podríamos decir, y el pasado de will es would. Entonces, ahí lo podemos transformar, ¿verdad? 
So those were the structures. Also, we were practicing transforming uh, sentences like I wish I were rich. I wish my house were beautiful. I wish my parents were less strict. I wish I lived in an interesting city, etc. right? And uh, also using the auxiliaries, right? Gabriela, yes, go ahead, Gabriela. Uh, I didn't understand why uh, uh, in the past is where. Yes, this one, right? Yes, it's like an exception. We already know that the past of the verb to be is I was, I was at home, I was sick, or uh, she was studying, or she was in the school, etc. Right? That is the past tense. Okay. Uh, also, you were right. You were here. You were at school. It changes, and el pasado normal cambia. But in the structure wish, I wish, it is always where. Why? It is a rule. Es una regla que ya está así establecida. En el inglés informal or informal or English, right? When uh, some people say, I wish I was. But that's informal, right? Eso es, es cuando ellos hablan, tal vez no ponen mucha atención a las a reglas gramaticales. Pero la regla gramatical dice, I wish I were, no I wish I was. Y I wish I were will be for all of the pronouns. Para todos los pronombres vamos a usar were. I wish I were, you wish you were, um, she wishes she were, like this example here. Para todos, no importando que se sea he o she, or they, or we, vamos a usar were. Pero siempre que vaya I wish antes. Esa es una regla. Okay, thanks. Okay. Um, so, do you have questions about this topic or these sentences that we were talking about yesterday? Yes, I have a question. Okay. Uh, what is the difference uh, of why uh, identify, uh, we identify is the lie? With wish, or with like, eh, es me gusta o me gustaría. Mm -hmm. Y wish, y wish también. Eh, why identify eh, when use this word? When do you use I wish and when do you use what is the other word? Like. Like, 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 I would like. Uh -huh. yes. Um, I wish is like un deseo, right? Something that is unreal, algo que no es real. Uh, I wish I had my own room, right? Desearía tener mi propio cuarto, verdad? Desearía, quisiera. And in Spanish, we translate to quisiera, porque nosotros decimos quisiera tener mi casa, o quisiera tener otro trabajo. Entonces, that's the way we translate it. Pero en, eh, actually is desearía, ¿verdad? Something unreal, algo que no tenemos. But I would like, we use it uh, when we would like something, cuando nos, cuando nos gustaría tener algo. Por ejemplo, when we are at the restaurant, en el restaurante. What would you like to take? I would like uh, spaghetti, right? Me gustaría unos espaguetis. Entonces, me gustaría tener, ¿verdad? Que me trajera. Entonces, that is something real. Algo que me gustaría tener que me lo pueden traer, ¿verdad? It, that is the difference. I wish is something unreal. Es un deseo nada más. Okay. Thank you, okay. Another yeah. question? No questions? Okay. So, we are going to begin with the homework. What was the, home, what was the homework about? The first homework that I gave you yesterday to write a wish right and then you have to explain why you want to have that wish for example i wish i had a different job why ah because i need more money because i need to buy a new house a new car etc right or i wish i were healthier why because ah because i'm kind of sick and i want to feel better and i want to eat healthier or i wish I had my own house, right? I wish I could fly like a superhero. Or I wish my dog, my dog didn't die. Why? I, because I, I like animals and I, I really love my dog. So that was the homework about, right? 
Entonces, ahorita vamos a hacer ese ejercicio. But you are going to practice with your homework, with your wish, with another person, with a classmate. We are, we are going to work in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. You are going to create a conversation like these ones, right? The ones that we already studied. Like, so are you still living with your parents, Terry? Yes. I, I, why, do you not, why don't you like living at home? Ah, because my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. Entonces, una, una conversación parecida. No igual. You can use your own words. Pueden usar sus propias palabras. For example, uh, Maria, right? Maria Siwensa is talking to Noé, right? And hi, Noé, how are you? Ah, oh, fine. But I wish I had a, a new job. Ah, uh, why? Ah, uh, because I, I want to work near my house and I want to earn more money, right? Y eso es todo. Y después Noé le pregunta a María. Y así hacen una pequeña conversación, small conversation, okay? Pequeña. And we are going to work in pairs. We are going to work, you are going to create your conversation in 10 minutes, something like that. And after 10 minutes, we go back and you're going to present your conversation, okay? Questions? Preguntas de lo que vamos a hacer? No No questions? No hay preguntas? Todos están claros lo que van a hacer en este momento? Ok, entonces vamos a hacer las parejas random, ¿verdad? That would be randomly. Vamos a hacerlos al azar. Y con quien les toque, van a empezar a hablar y van a empezar a crear una conversación. Solo, déjenme ver, somos 18, we are 18. So there will be nine groups. And... Ok, and uh, in 10 minutes we will go back, ok? Ok, you can join right now, you can join. So you can speak in English, speak in English, okay? Okay, do you have question, people? Have you joined already? Uh, I have a question, teacher. You create the group of the group because my internet doesn't work for the reason I outside the, the class. Yes, uh, yes, Carl. Actually, the you should have you should, you should receive that message over there in your Zoom, in your Zoom a meeting, and it says unirse or join. Oh, okay. Yes. You are with Rosa, Rosa Maria Merino. Ah, okay. Uh, can you can you help me with that? Because um, for um, uh, para entrar al grupo. Okay. Let me see if I can help you because ya varios entraron. Quiero ver Carla Merino. Ok, ahorita vamos a trabajar en parejas. Para los, si acaban de llegar, vamos a trabajar en parejas. Y ya si les ha llegado un mensaje que tienen que trabajar con alguien, ahí nada más tienen que unirse sí, al grupo. Que... Yo ya estaba en la clase, pero este se me desconectó el internet y se me salió todo. Ok, voy a asignarlo con alguien, con Azucena, en la sala 3. Okay.
Jaime, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, Jaime. I will assign you to Noé. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, you can go ahead and join. Hey teacher. Hey teacher, I can. You get an access? Hey teacher. Uh -huh. No se puede unir? Había ingresado con el, tel con el teléfono, pero ya ingresé con la compu, el teléfono no me funcionaba. Ah, ok. Me puede ingresar nuevamente. Ok. A un grupo. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Ok, no problem. Hi, hi teacher, I was alone in the room. You were alone, Rosa Maria? Yes. Okay, let me see. Rosa Maria. You were just, you, you didn't, you weren't with somebody else? Um, no estaba con nadie? No, no. Vamos a ver. Flor, Azucena, Carla, Juan Linares. Jaime Reyes, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, let me see here. Yeah. Y tenemos a Rosa María. Que okay, la voy a asignar con Rosa María para ver si pueden eh, trabajar juntos. Déjeme ver. Okay. Okay, Rosa, can you can you get inside of the room? Are you able to go back to? Okay, thank you. I'm a Reyes. Rosa Maria, were you able to listen to someone, to talk to someone? Uh, I need help. I. <laughs> no había nadie ahí, Rosa María. No, no me caí de la llamada hace un momentito. Okay. Ajá. Okay, quiero ver. Si no, no se preocupe. Eh, siempre le voy a, si alguien la escoge, siempre la voy a preguntar. Okay. Para que, acerca de su tarea, ¿verdad? Acerca de lo que hizo. ¿Usted hizo la tarea, verdad? ¿O no hizo la tarea? Yes, yes. Yes, right, okay. Yes, okay. Entonces, solo déjeme ver un momento, por favor. Um, and my maybe right now is three years, is three years old. And you, uh, do you have a baby or not? 
<risa> Parece que se salió la persona con la que estaba, ¿verdad? Eh, I think. Eh, yes. Yes, ok. ¿Con quién estaba usted? Flor. Flor, ok, let me see. Flor, Damián, yes, it's here. With Gabriela. Uh -huh. Flor, are you there? Flor? Flora, are you there? Rosa Maria, are you there? Ok, let me see what happened. Parece que varios se han salido, no sé por qué. Pero voy a ver si le puedo asignar otra vez a Flor, ok? Un momento. Ok. Hello? Yes, Flor, are you there? Flor Damián? Yeah, probably something happened to her. Are you speaking with Rosa Maria, Mr. Mauricio? Yes, I speak with her. Okay. <laughs> okay, yes, because Flor, you were with Rebecca, right? Yes, but my internet is not good, so. <laughs> I understand, yes, the internet is a problem right now. But uh, Rosa, usted puede seguir platicando con Mauricio. Voy a ver si puedo entregar a Flor, okay? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, Mauricio, uh, my brother lived in Los Angeles City. He have lived in Los Angeles for 10 years. And, and uh, what wish do you like? Um, In my case, um, I wish I traveled to go USA to visit my brother and his family and travel on different place with my brother. A teacher is correct uh, say he lived in Los Angeles 10 years ago. Is correct? Yes, he lived in Los Angeles 10 years ago, yes. Okay. And he had lived in Los Angeles for 10 years. Is correct? Yes, he had lived in Los Angeles for 10 years. Yes, correct. He had lived in, in pasado. Yes, he okay. had lived. Lived. But he okay. still lived there, right? Excuse me? I, I will be there in Los Angeles? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, it's okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so if you prepare your conversation, si ustedes prepararon algo, este, traten de presentar eso, una conversación pequeña, ¿verdad? Um, mm -hmm. Your wish is hi, how are you? And then uh, you finish, okay? Um, I'm going to bring uh, all the people right now because I guess the 10 minutes are over. Así que vamos a empezar, ¿verdad? Yes, okay. Eh, iniciamos otra vez entonces con Mauricio, que no lo, o ya, oh. ya regresamos. Sí, ahorita ya regresamos. Okay. You can practice later with Mauricio. Yeah, sí, probably sí. you can improvise something. Okay, okay ya regresamos todos. Uh, did you practice your English? Did you speak with somebody else? Did you create a conversation? 
Yes. 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 Okay. That's that's what something that we are going to practice right now. I'm so sorry if you had like a problem with um, the internet connection because sometimes uh, the room gets you out or if you have a very bad connection, internet connection. So probably for that reason, that's the reason why I don't do these exercises that much or that often because it's kind of difficult. But we are going to begin right now with a uh, conversation, okay? Vamos a empezar con la conversación. Este, um, a volunteer, I just want to volunteer. Un voluntario para que empiece a decirme cuál fue la conversación que crearon. Volunteers. Okay, me teacher. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, um, I Who spoke you? with... Uh -huh. Uh, okay, I spoke with Maria Siguenza. Maria Siguenza. Okay, you can go yeah. ahead. Okay. Uh, well, uh, we're talking about her wishes. She wish uh, had a, a, a new job to earn more money. She wants to travel in the future uh, to visit uh, another country. And she wants uh, a new house who will have a, a very big garden uh, for your pets, right? She has a pet and she wants to, the, uh, she wants to, to another kind of house, right? And another kind of job also. <laughs> that is the, the conversation we have. Yeah. Uh, I can hear you, teacher. Yeah, sorry, I was the mute. Hey, you, Maria, what do you what do you hear about Edgardo? <laughs> uh, Edgardo, say, say me, say me. Uh, uh, he wish. Uh, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yes, go ahead. You have, go ahead. You have to talk. Uh, he wish. Uh, had a big house uh, graduate, 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 uh, uh, in the another language. <laughs> yes, in another language. ¿Qué más me dijo usted? <laughs> es que en inglés me cuento, um, teacher. I was a very, a very uh, bad spoken. <laughs> he had a dog, two dogs. Uh, ay, se me olvidaron. Ay, se me olvidó, Edgardo. <laughs> <laughs> ok, no problem. You were able to speak, right? You were able to practice. In English. Not only in Spanish, right? Hablaron en inglés, ¿verdad? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, English. yeah. Okay, okay, very good, very good. Very good participation, Maria and Edgardo. Okay, remember that you had to create a conversation. Okay, tienen que crear una conversación. Pero vamos a, a ver, eh, Maria, escoja uno de sus compañeros para que nos diga la conversación que crearon. Okay, ahorita le digo que no sé los nombres. Okay. Azucena Elizabeth. Okay, Azucena. Are you there, Azucena? Yes, teacher. Okay, and you were practicing with somebody else? Uh, yes, I practiced with Carla Merino. Yes. Okay, Carla Merino. Okay, remember that you have to create a conversation, okay? Uh, so, yes. you need to present your conversation. Go ahead, present your yes. conversation, please. Okay. Hi, Carla, how are you? I am excellent. What about you? Uh, I'm good. And uh, what, what talking about you? Oh, yes. I want to tell you I have a wish. And I wish I had a job in a call center because I want to help to support my family. Oh, really? Me too. I have yes. a wish. Oh, really? Tell me, what is your wish? Uh, I wish I had a bigger house so that my cat had a more space, space to play. 
Oh, really? That is a, a great idea. Yes. Okay, yes, Susana. And I thank you for search your wish. And it's a pleasure to talk with you. Oh, thank you, Carla. I hope to see you soon. Okay, bye. Have a good night. Bye. Okay, very good, very good. Congratulations, Carla and Susana. Okay, you did an excellent job. Uh, you were talking about having a job in a call center. Uh, you would like, have you experienced that or would you like to have a, that kind of job, Carla Marino? No, that will be uh, first time. And you would like to, to be uh, uh, like working in a call center? Uh, yes, I would like um, a specific, I would like to work in Sykes. Sykes, okay. You have heard good comments about that, that site, Sykes? Yes, I have uh, some friends, uh, they work in, in that call center. Okay, very good. And as Susana, your wish was you had a bigger house, right? Yes. Okay, for your cats and for your pets? Yes. Yes, it is true, it is true. So very good. Now I want you to choose somebody else, Azucena, one of your classmates. Vamos a escoger a quien se esté riendo. Bye. Ah, Edgardo. Ah, no, ya pasó, ¿verdad? Yes, sure. You're really participating, <laughs> yes. Entonces, eh, Héctor, ya que solo tiene un nombre, Héctor. Okay, Héctor, are you there? Are you there, Héctor? Héctor, can you hear me? Were you practicing with somebody else in a room? Hector, ¿me puede escuchar? Hector, are you there? No, Hector. Sorry, me está. Yo creo que tiene problemas. Yes. Bajo. Yes. Porque yo a mí me tocó con él, pero no pudimos practicar por for that reason. Okay, Tatiana, you had uh you were you had we were problems with the internet connection. Yeah, that's why that's a problem with these kind of activities because probably you have some problems, probably it's raining in your area or something different. But he was practicing with you, right, Tatiana? Yes. Okay, Tatiana, uh, did you do the, the homework? Yes. Okay, now tell me about your homework. Okay, um, I wish I had a lot of money mm -hmm. for buy a house, my own house, and house for my mom. Oh, I wish I had a lot of money for buy my own car and travel maybe around the world with my family. Okay, very good wishes, okay? So remember, I wish I had a lot of money uh, to buy a house for my house. Remember that is to buy a house for my house or to buy my own house also. In, in Spanish, para, uh, it, we, we probably we translate it for, right? For for buy a house or for a go or for travel, but it's to, right? To buy a house, True. to travel, okay. exactly. Very good. But very okay. good, very good participation. And Tatiana, I want you to choose one of your classmates. Escoja usted a alguien más. Ok. Um, let me see. Mm. Gabriela Godoy. Gabriela Godoy. Are you there, Gabriela? Yes, I'm here. Ok, Gabriela. Were you practicing with Flor, right? Yes. Ok, Flor, uh, are you there? Yes. Yeah, she had problems also with the internet, okay? So you see, we had a lot of problems with connections right now. So uh, if you are if you did a little bit of the conversation, just practice that part, and then we are going to, 
to check, okay? Okay. Okay, go ahead. Hi, Gabriela, how are you? Hi, uh, I'm fine, and you? I'm great, thank you. And tell me, what, are, what is your wish? Uh, well, uh, I wish I built my house um, because we have a terrain. I don't know if the, uh, the correct way to say it. Uh, we have a terrain, and uh, but we with my with my husband um, we couldn't uh, build our house uh, before um, birth my baby, <laughs> and now it's difficult, and that's why um, we wish we build our house uh, before. Okay, perfect. That is good. And as you mentioned, you have a baby, right? So that's why you need more space. Yes, and we have a, a grocery store too. And, and the house is small. Is the house it is small and and every day we we um, we have uh, um we we don't have enough enough space enough okay perfect i hope the which it comes true and um, let me tell you about my wish um, I wish to won the lottery or have a lot of money because a year ago my husband and I decided to get a home with the Fondo Social, so we are paying it, um, but I don't like to have any debt, so <laughs> that's why I, I wish to win a lottery um, because he is studying also civil engineer, so, um, and also we help he is a grandma, and I would like to have more money to help my parents with their needs as well. So that is my wish. And now you, you live with your parents? No, I live with, with my husband. My parents lives in, uh, live in Agua Chapang, and I live in San Juan Opico. Uh, okay. Okay, Thank that's you. it. Yes. Okay, very good, very good. And how do you say terreno in English? How do you say? Uh, I say say uh, terrain, but I don't know. <laughs> yes, if, it's, it's like a land, right? We had a land, yeah, and I wish. Yeah. I, yes, I, I a land, and I wish I I built my house, right? With my uh, you you were talking about yeah. your house, right? Uh -huh. My house. Okay. Very good, it's Lan. Okay, and thank you for your participation, Gabriela and Flor, even though you were having thank some you. problems. And I wish I won the lottery also. Very good, uh, because you want to help your grand, the, your husband's grandma, right? And your parents. Very good, very good. Now, uh, Flor, choose another classmate, please. Alguien más de sus compañeros, ya casi terminamos. Okay, let me check. Noe. Noe. Okay, Noe. Okay. Who, are you, who are you practicing with? Okay, teacher. Okay, who are you uh, speaking with in the conversation? Uh, I talk with uh, Brian. He talked to Chris. With Brian, okay. Uh, Brian, are you there? Yes. Brian? Okay, Brian. Okay, so uh, if you create the conversation, please uh, try to begin right now, please, if you're prepared. In my case, uh, my conversation with Brian is uh, I wish 
and the private uh, do not be safe because I have a sister. I wish to uh, travel um, visit different, uh, different space in this city. Uh, I wish to uh, uh, speak a uh, uh, speak uh, very well uh, English for um, a bot different uh, thing. Uh, um, como digo, así, uh, teacher. Así. Ajá, así no tener problemas, quiero decir. So I won't have problems. Okay, so no. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. I won't have problems. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. And you, Brian, what was the conversation about with Mr. Noe? He wish he traveled to the United States with family. In my case, I, I wish I visit to Paris to know Eiffel Tower, and I wish I bought new. I wish I bought car, and I wish I had a uh, own own house. My own my own house. Okay, perfect, perfect, very good. So you wish to travel with your family. You wish visited Paris and also you wish you bought a car and also uh, Mr. Noé wished um, to have a different job, right? Very good. So he won't have more problems. Very good. Thank you very much for just for your participation. Remember that if we wish, we use wish, the next verb will be in, in the past, right? I, I wish I had, I wish I bought. Very good. Now, Mr. Noé, choose the last the last uh, person to practice. Uh, mm -hmm. Choose someone else, yes. Okay, Rosaura. Rosaura. Okay, Rosaura, are you, are you there, Rosaura? Are you there, Rosaura? Rosaura? Do you have... Connection problems also? Yes, yes. Uh, I have here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I talk uh, with Lisette. Lisette. And she, uh, and she told me about uh, her wish. Uh, she she uh, want to visit uh, French and no different place there. Uh, she wish... Um, I had a other work, other job, with, uh, because uh, she need more time for her family, and only that I don't remember more. <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> and Lisette was able to speak with you. Are you able to talk right now, Lisa? Because I guess that you were kind of busy, right? Right now. Yes. Yes. I. I. I don't know. And are you are you able to speak right now or or, or no? No, o sea, sí, pero no me acuerdo que hablamos. Okay, okay, no problem, Lisa. But you are going to participate, Lisa. No problem. Okay, I want you to choose the last the last pair, la última pareja. Escoja alguien de sus compañeros. Me. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh. Mm. I don't know. Alguien que se vea cool. <laughs> Tenemos Edgardo. A Edgardo. No, Edgardo already participated. Edgardo already participated. Oh, okay. But we have Mauricio, we have Jaime Reyes. Maya, Mauricio. Mauricio, Jaime. okay, Mauricio. 
Are you there, Mauricio? Yes. It... Okay, you were practicing with somebody else, right? I don't remember your name, really. <laughs> you don't remember her name. I guess it was, let me see, Rosa Maria, no, right? Yes, yes. yes. Rosa Maria, okay. Yeah. Now, I want you to create a conversation between you and, and Mauricio and try to express your ideas with wishes, right? Like, how Mauricio, how are you? How Rosa Maria? And then your wish, okay? Go okay. ahead. Bueno, repeat conversation. Yes. Hi, Mauricio, how are you? Hi, Rosa, five, five times and you, how are you? Hi, five. I wish I uh, travel go to USA to visit my brother and his family and travel on different place with my brother. Uh, what about you? What is your wish? Okay, Rosa, for this year, I wish uh, travel to uh, if, uh, for on November on December is possible uh, travel. I wish uh, visit uh, different and new different places. Uh, I like, uh, I would like to uh, know uh, cultural places. I wish that. Okay, that's great. I see you, Mauricio. I see you too. Good night. Good night. Okay, very good, very good. Congratulations because you you had a little time and you did it very very good. Okay, so um, yes, yeah, teacher. Yes, this conversation are a good idea because you have this. Yes, Very actually, good. that was the point of this exercise. Porque en tan pequeño, tan corto tiempo, no podemos participar okay. todos. Entonces, ya cuando participan con alguien más, participan más, participan todos. But that was the point of this exercise. Very good because you were able to use the expressions, right? I wish I travel to another country. I wish I visited different places. Very good, very good. Congratulations to all of you. Now we are going to continue, okay? With another activity, just to probably to finish the class because we just have 10 more minutes. Y hay personas que aún no han participado, ¿verdad? Now, I have questions here. And I will ask you questions about the topics that we have studied, right? From section one, section two, section three. And I need Mauricio to choose one of your classmates, one participant, and I will ask one question and you will tell me your own words. What's, uh, what do you think about, or what do you know about this, this question? Okay, probably what is a countable noun, what is uncountable noun? different questions, right? So Mauricio, choose someone who hasn't participated yet. Okay, teacher, let me see the names. Yes. He... Jaime Reyes. Jaime Reyes, are you there, Jaime Reyes? Yes, teacher, oh no. <laughs> okay, very good. Don't worry because it's an easy, it's an easy question. Okay, okay, very good. Now, I have the questions here. I will choose one for you. Okay. Okay, your question, Jaime, is what is an uncountable noun? An uncountable noun, uh, sugar, mm -hmm. sugar, and um, the context. Yes, what else? What is an, a, an uncountable noun? Something that we can count or that we cannot count? Not count. Not count, like sugar. Not okay, count. very sugar, good. Uh, what else? Uh, juice, and uh, salt, uh, juice, salt, vegetable. Vegetables. Can we count vegetables or not? Yeah, probably you don't know, but yeah, 
but we can count vegetables. And, and water, water. Water, yes, water. Water. Um, what else? Cars. Cars, cars. It's uncountable cars. Yeah. Yeah, a traffic is uncountable. Traffic, el tráfico oh, okay. es incontable. But cars, we can count cars, right? And one last no, question. Noise, noise, noise. Noise, yes. One last question, Jaime. With uh, uncountable nouns, we use the word many or do we use the word much? Uh, many. Many or much? We use uh, much, 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 exactly, much, much traffic, much noise, much water, but many is with countable, okay? Remember that, Jaime, very good, very good. Jaime, choose someone else, another person who, who, who hasn't participated yet. Uh, my namesake. What's the name? Como decir mi tocayo. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> okay, very good. Jaime, Jaime Hernandez, right? Yeah. Okay, Jaime, are you there? Yes, I'm okay. here. Very good. I will choose one of these questions and randomly write, and you will tell me what you think about that, okay? Let's see. How do I use the verb to be in the past? Uh, when I use the verb to be, the verb to be the past, uh, for example, um, or oh, when I use, um, uh, I wish, mm -hmm. I wish, uh, I I wish. Um, I want to uh, travel in the USA. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yes, it's okay. But the verb to be, how, how, how can we use the verb to be in the past? What is the verb to be in the past? For example, verb to be is the verb I am, I you am. are, he is. And what is the verb to be in the past? Uh, in the present, I am. Mm -hmm. In the past is... Uh, I was. I was. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you are in, in the mm -hmm. present, in the past. Uh, you were. You were. Mm -hmm. He was. She was. It was. They were. We were. Very good. Can you give me an example with a verb to with a sentence in the past with the verb to be? For example, with I was or she was. Okay. For example, uh, on this day, uh, I I was uh, I was travel around uh, five a.m. o'clock because uh, I I was uh, I, I I was to to work. Uh, okay. Okay, you were you were traveling, so I was traveling at five a.m. because I was going to work, right? I am going. Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Very good, Jaime. Very good. Now, uh, choose someone else, someone who hasn't participated. We have Lisette. We have who else? Juan. Okay. 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 Sure. One more person, please. Okay. Uh, Ahorita selecciono. Ok. <ríe> Rosaura. Rosaura. ¿Ayuda a Rosaura? Yes. Ok, Rosaura. Present. Present. <ríe> Again. Again. Ok, I will choose one of these questions. Easy, And please. Easy, easy. Yeah, all of them are easy. All of them are easy. Let me see uh -huh. here. It says, no, this one is too long. Another one. Okay, next. Next one. Okay, it says, when 
should I use the auxiliary did in the past tense? Okay, you, you use the helping verb did when you are asked about um, the past, mm -hmm. something that happened um, before and don't happen now. Mm -hmm. An example? For example, let me see. Did you dinner late uh, yesterday? Did you eat dinner yesterday? Very good. Did you eat dinner yesterday? So we use mm -hmm. it in questions, right? Yes, yes. Okay, very good. For, for ask. <laughs> yes, for questions okay. to ask. Thank you, Rosaura. Now okay. I want you to choose one more person, please. Okay, Gabriela. <laughs> okay, Gabriela, are you there, Gabriela? Uh, yes, I'm here. Okay, I will ask you one more question. And also, let me see here. And I have one more person at the end. It says, what is an indirect question? An indirect question. Mm -hmm. Um when you uh, when you want to 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 do more polite mm -hmm. and the question very good when you uh, when you want to ask something more polite right in a more polite way can you tell me one example of an indirect question um okay for example um um if we want to to ask something uh, we can you we can say uh, could you tell me um where is my cell phone <laughs> can you for example how, could you tell me where it is sorry uh, uh, could you tell me where it is um if for example for example if i am in the office um uh, i can uh, i can ask someone uh, could you tell me well where is my cell phone right now because i lost mm -hmm. could you tell me where my cell phone is right at the end uh, is the verb yes. remember the formulas right that's the reason why we study formulas but could you tell me where my cell phone is ah uh, well my yes well okay. where my cell phone is okay okay very good gabriela thank you very much that was correct, right? An indirect question is something, a question to, like more polite question, to request something politely. And we are going to have the last one, who is Lisette, because Lisette didn't participate in the conversation, but she wants to participate with a question. Can you speak right now, Lisette? Are you available? Are you there? Lisette, are you there? No, you're not. You have problems with your internet. It seems that she's not there. Well, probably she's connected, but okay, Gabriela, choose someone else. Um, okay. Um Juan Linares. I don't know if he Juan, participated. Juan Linares, have you participated, Juan? No, right. Hi. Hello. Okay. Hi, Juan. Okay, I have a question for you. So you will be the last one. Okay. It's going to be easy and it's going to be fast. So no problem. Your question is what is a WH question? What? What is a WH question? What is that? For example, what? Mm -hmm. For who? example, a who? Mm -hmm. What? What? Where? When? Can you give me an example of a WH question? Mm, yes. Uh, what's your name? What's your name? Very good. What's your name? When is your birthday, Birthday, right? Where were you born? Where are you? All of those are WH questions, right? 
Okay, very good. Thank you, Juan. Very good, very good job. I uh, thank you very much for all your effort and your participation. Uh, probably in, in next week, we are going to have more activities like this. If you have any suggestions, tienen sugerencias, preguntas, eh, la pueden hacer para que yo podíamos que quieran hacer alguna actividad en la próxima semana, pues yo la puedo integrar. De aquí para adelante van a sentir más cortito las clases. Ya van a ver que ya pronto van a decir se acabó el curso intermedio y ya van a poder eh, seguir o quedarse con eh, este nivel de curso intermedio. Okay, so I wish you to rest well. I wish you a very good weekend and um, I will see you on Monday. Okay, no homework for the weekend. Okay, you can rest. Okay. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Have a good night. Good, good night, night for everyone. Teacher. Have good a nice teacher. weekend. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend, everyone. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Bye.